How to Focus is brought to you by Garage Build. Submit your build, share your passion. Powered by Dennis Kirk. My name is James Fish Alcorn. My shop is Alleyway Customs and I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. This bike is um, a twin cam, uh, rigid frame. Techn technically we call it a VLXRTC. Because it's all of that. VL paint, XR tanks, twin cam motor. This is our friend Chris Rosenberg's bike. Brian Buteris built the frame. One of the challenging parts about this frame is this is a shovel head spec frame. So the, the rear section of this bike, all this stuff isn't supposed to fit in here. It kind of went under assumption when we we're fabricating the bike. Yeah, we'll just buy Dyna stuff. It all work. No. No, not, not in that frame width. The end result, you have a slim profile rear end that you're not going to get with an aftermarket frame at all. This is the first prototype of bare knuckle pulse narrowed triple trees uh, for the 49 millimeter front end. Uh, working with Arlen Ness on the brake setup. Standard 2013 twin cam 96 cubic inch motor, but it's foot clutch, jockey shift. Chris has never ridden a foot clutch, and I told him he kind of needed to step up. <laughs> this is my new um, mid control prototype setup. Frame super light, the bike should fly. Um, with the Thunderheart ignition system, uh, the ECM and the coil is in between the tanks, and uh, it's just very minimal power straight off the battery to the key switch. You need a key switch through the tank, so it's kind of the the, the idea of this bike was uh, simple and clean, and not much wiring, not much exposed. It's six wires; most of it goes to the coil. These are uh, the low bar, the lowbrow um, XR tanks, but I cut all the um, all the visible mounts off of it. So it's got three tabs, one longer piece of one inch tubing that comes straight down that catches the bottom, but they all link together and overlap. These tanks aren't exactly the same side to side, but if you get those tabs wrong, you raise this profile. These are slowly turning into our signature style seats. This, you know, I made a one off, made the pan, you know, uh, hospital density foam inside so it doesn't absorb any water or whatever. The headlight and the tail light, I actually manual milled and machined out of billet aluminum. But the mounting system will accept narrow glide, wide glide, or with just one mount on the back of it, it can go to a Springer mounting system. Tail light the same way, where it can mount with an ear tab to the sissy bar, or it can mount flat to the plate of your license plate, whatever. But uh, they're LED powered. You know, it gives you a good throw, plenty bright enough for, for us chopper heads. Most lights only work about six feet, right? So. We're doubling that already. The handlebars are one off. These are uh, brushed stainless. The fender strut is brushed stainless to match the stainless exhaust, um, brushed stainless hand shifter, and uh, it's just very minimal. My name is James Fish Alcorn with Alleyway Customs from Jacksonville, Florida, and you're watching Shop Talk.